Uh, what's your own sense? I mean, you've upped your price target. What are you pricing in? What, you, what are you working with in terms of the overall numbers, the kind of boost this uh, joint venture would give? Shanir, as also, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the growth that will unfold from here. Right. So the, the joint venture really just helps towards the long-term growth more so than it has an immediate impact on the numbers. The numbers at the moment are fantastic, as you might imagine. Even though 95% of Chenier's business is fully booked and contracted, that other 5% of the business is really benefiting from the extremely high LNG prices. And so in, in 2022, they're going to do around $11 billion worth of EBITDA. Last year, they only did $5 billion. So it gives you a sense of how much money they're making. And importantly, we'll probably stay in an elevated market for a little while but really the reason that we uh, push our price target a little higher is uh, you now have much better line of sight on growth they make about 45 million tons of lng right now that's moving to 60 and they have plans to go to 90. so uh, a high price environment enables growth and and uh, certainly cash flows should continue to rise through the end of the decade at least and they're also looking to up their export capacity and in, in terms of the contracts if they can do that is that going to be allowing them to have a little bit more exposure to spot markets or is it still a matter of just the, the off takes are there and they're in place? Well, I, I think having a bigger book does enable a little bit more spot exposure, but that's really not the business model for them. Um, they are able to, as really the, uh, the largest producer in the United States, certainly and second largest in the world, they're able to demand uh, solid long-term contracts from major players uh, to do generate good cash flows and, and with strong cash flow visibility. I think that's going to continue to be the model, uh, but there will always be an element of spot that uh, that they have in their business just basically as uh, overflow in the event that something is offline or, or for whatever reason they need to uh, honor their contracts with a little of the extra.